How's it going, y'all? My name is Leo Puga, also known as uh, Mr. Exclusive. All my life, been grinding all my life. Sacrifice, hustle, pay the price. Wanna slice, got to roll the dice. That's why, all my life, I've been grinding all my life. Look, all my life, been grinding all my life. Sacrifice, hustle, pay the price. Wanna slice, got to roll the dice. That's why, all my life, I've been grinding all my life. Look, I'm married to this gang, that's who I made my wife. Said I'd die alone, I told that bitch she probably right. One thing that's for sure, not a stranger to this life Got a safe that's full of Franklin's and a shoulder full of stripes I don't know a like myself I say self-made, meaning I design myself County jail fades, you can pull my foul yourself Spot rays, swallow rocks, I'm getting myself nah, Damn right, I like the life I built I'm from West Side 60, might got killed Standing so tall, they think I might got stills Legendary baller like Mike, like Will 96 Impala, thug life on wheels up against the wall, squabble at Fox Hills Like a m the boss asked me how I feel Successful street, touching them first meals All my life, been grinding all my life Sacrifice, hustle paid the price Wanna slice, got to roll the dice That's why, all my life, I been grinding all my life Look, All my life, been grinding all my life uh, Spent a, a good majority of my life in prison as well I did six years in the, in the system And that's where I came across um, Cutting hair. That's where I learned how to cut hair. Um, I came across this, this man with a life sentence. Uh, he was actually a former blood gang member from Atlanta, Georgia, and um, he saw my drive. He saw how hungry I was, and you know, so he taught me pretty much everything he knew because he knew that his second chance at life was pretty much blown. Like it, it was kind of hard for me to just kind of allow this guy to teach me what he knew. So I kind of grew out of that. I grew out of that, man. And, I, and I, I let him teach me everything he knew. And I fell in love with it. People that I last thought would support me throughout this were actually the first ones to support me and, and, and allow, me the, uh, allow me the opportunity to get better at my craft, at the craft that I was most passionate about. So when I was in prison uh, and I was cutting hair, I was charging three soups, three ramen noodle soups a haircut. And so I was cutting anywhere from like 25 to 30 heads a day, you know, on a 5,500 man unit. And so the vision that I had was that I could go out to the world and charge $20 for a haircut and, you know, cut 20 heads a day. I mean, that's pretty good. You know what I mean? It, my vision started from, from inside. So now that I think about it, um, would I take all this back? Would I, would I take the prison experience back? Would I take all? No, not at all. Because honestly, prison and my past experiences, that's really who made me. It's made me who I am today. You know, uh, if it wouldn't have been for that, I would have probably been six feet underground. I would have probably been, uh, you know, incarcerated with a life sentence. You know, I mean, really, I got a second chance. And this is something I can't take back. I mean, this is something, this is a part of me. You know, um, just like uh, uh, something that I live by is that let your past be your lesson, let your present, your present be your uh, gift, and let your future be your motivation. <laughs>